What's going on guys? Welcome to our Ram Video channel. In today's video, we're talking about data deprioritization. Now, a lot of people ask questions about this because you might be using an unlimited data plan, but then at certain points in time, the data might be slowed. In a situation for companies like T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, and AT&T, they use this to manage their network. And when you hear about the deprioritizing of data, what it essentially means is that if you're on a network and there's a lot of people using the service from that company, say if you're a customer of T-Mobile's, currently the amount of data that you can use per month before data could even be slowed down by data deprioritization is 30 gigabytes. Now T-Mobile changes this every quarter. That's what I was told by T-Mobile. And you have other companies out there that are doing this also, including Verizon, who has it at 22 gigabytes. Now, essentially what would happen if your data was deprioritized is that if you try to access something, say like a web page, you might notice that the web page is taking longer than usual to load. If you compare that to other companies out there, even your home internet, and you notice pages are taking time to load also, these companies are trying to manage your network as they gain a lot more customers, so everyone has an opportunity to use the data. Now there's issues with this and really we can talk about the consumer's point of view and of course those companies because either or might have a different opinion. Especially people who comment on my videos and they hear about the amount of data, say like 30 gigabytes from T-Mobile, they think that's so much data that they would never use it. But then you have other people out there who really consume a lot of data and they notice that their service is being slowed but they're using a quote unquote unlimited data plan. So there's really opinions from consumers also that might be different, but as far as the companies, they call it network management. So my opinion is if you sell an unlimited data plan and if it was really unlimited, then the data should never be slowed. But at the same time, we have to acknowledge that these companies need to manage their network. And if they didn't deprioritize the data, then the networks can't handle everyone using quote unquote unlimited data. And that is a valid situation. And that's why you're not using your mobile data like your home internet all the time. Because if everyone was using unlimited data, if everyone was using HD video all the time, those networks wouldn't run too good. You know, so again, there are answers to solve these problems, but it's not all about the amount of data that you could use before it gets deprioritized. I don't think that's the answer to solve these problems. I think that the technology has to get better. You know, we are talking about a mobile data infrastructure that needs to be a lot better so people could actually use unlimited data and they don't have to worry about deprioritizing data. It's a really interesting conversation because there are people out there that really don't watch the way they use their data and they don't see how much data they're using per month. But if you actually looked at how much data you use from Wi-Fi with your home internet and also your mobile data, you're going to figure out that you use a lot of data. Now, an example of people who use a lot of data, we could look at YouTube, even Netflix. There's a lot of video streaming services where you can use a lot of data in even your mobile streaming music services. Say you're a fan of either Google or Apple Music. You're going to notice that you use a lot of data depending on the audio streaming quality that you're using. Now, Google Music has an option where you don't have to use the best quality so you can save that data. Now, again, we start talking about the services that you're paying for, which yes, you are paying for an unlimited data plan as it's described by these companies because a lot of them are selling these plans like that. So they have these amounts that they figure out so they don't want the services interrupted. And that's the goal from companies like T-Mobile and Verizon. Now, when I was saying that we should just have unlimited data plans, there should not be any deprioritizing data. The reason I'm saying that is because these companies could monetize bitrate and other variations of data just to make more money while selling plans as quote unquote unlimited. And I don't agree with that. So an example of that is when you would want to get HD video and you would be charged for that. I didn't agree with that. And now that T-Mobile changed that, I think that's really good that they changed it because I didn't even think it was something they should be charging people for. But then if you look at the mobile data infrastructure that these companies are trying to establish, and examples are T-Mobile and Verizon working on 5G. The thing about that though, is they have to get approval for that. And there's regulation there. And it's not always so simple for these companies to go out there and put cell phone towers wherever they want. So another idea, again, talking about the mobile data infrastructure is to evolve the way that the infrastructure works. So rather than have cell phone towers, figure out a different technology where consumers would not find it such an issue for you guys to install. See, this is what I'm talking about with deprioritizing data and alternatives to having to do that. Yes, currently the networks require that, but if the technology gets better, then we wouldn't even need that. It's about technology because that's what we're using. 
And yes, it's great technology when it's evolving, but if companies are just trying to get the most out of the technology that they currently have, and they're not investing all those resources into actually making the technology better, then I have an issue with that. For people out there that might say, well, I never noticed that my data was deprioritized ever. It's never slowed. Or there's a lot of other people out there say, hey, I have quote unquote unlimited hotspot data. Nothing is unlimited, nothing. Not from any of these companies. And that's the reason why we talk about it. Because if you actually read about how these companies manage their networks, you're gonna learn that if you use too much data, they could cancel your service. And actually they do that because they realized if every customer was doing that with their network, then they wouldn't have a network that runs right for most people. So I think also what needs to happen is that once we have the technology that allows these unlimited data plans to really be unlimited, then we can start talking about what actual services you're getting from these companies without having to use something like a home internet service. This is what I'm talking about when we talk about the TV services. See, if you have deprioritizing the data and you guys realize sometimes it's kind of slow and it's not always a great experience and this is why t-mobile for example wanted people to use 4ep video and even now with the hd video you do have to activate it once but the activation requirement to me looks like a situation for t-mobile where not everyone's going to activate it or maybe people might deactivate it if they notice that the network is not as good when trying to use hd video because hd video requires more data we're talking about the network and that tower that you might be trying to use and when that happens then obviously it's not going to be so easy to watch your videos in hd you know they're not looking to deprioritize your data just because they want to annoy consumers it's because their networks require that so consumers can get a more data connection. But I would like to know what you guys think about all this. Let me know in the comments what you think about the deprioritizing data from some of these mobile carriers. And of course, if you like this video, give a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.